They rot, they swell, they look like this. What up, guys? CP the Tuatic. Woo! Well, warmer weather is coming, and the spring cleanup, and everybody's losing their mind. And uh, I had a gentleman who asked me to stop by his house to look at his boat because he wanted me to change out all of his hose clamps to water to these worm clamps. Now, I've been meaning to do this for a really long time. I may have addressed this several times before, but I absolutely am not a fan of worm clamps, and there is a huge, huge misconception. In fact, this is something that I would say that I at least talk about at least once a week to some customer. Now, that being said, this gentleman asked me to change all of his constant tension clamps to worm clamps, and I said... A, you don't want to do that, and B, he said, well, then he said, why? And I said, for B, because it's not the right way to do it. It's not proper, and worm clamps are not, I repeat, not something that you want to put on a pressurized cooling system or any type of system that requires, that has a heat, and uh, it has a hot and cold transfer. By hot and cold, I mean it warms up, and it, it heats, contracts, it, it expands, and it contracts, Okay. Now, this is a huge, huge problem. And I have seen this with multiple guilty parties on YouTube talking about, oh, we're just going to put a worm clamp on this. Okay. If you're in a sticky pinch and this is all you have, let's say you throw some of these in your glove compartment in case you blow a heater hose or something like that. Sure, understandable. But let me, let me explain something to you. If you're wanting a car to be reliable and you're wanting to fix the job properly, worm clams are not the right way to do it. And I'm going to give you a couple reasons why. So stop using these worm clams. Now there is a multitude of varieties. Now there's some of these that they use on turbos and stuff, which is a whole completely different deal. And I know some of you have already are ready to fly off the handle in the, in the comment box. Well, 10% of you. Anyways, <clears throat> are ready to fly off in the handle because you're like, CP, their worm clamps are so much easier to use. Okay, well, just because it's easier, once again, that's a lot like just because it's cheaper doesn't mean it's it's worth it. Okay, that, that's, that kind of mentality uh, is just not acceptable when you're trying to do something or repair. And I'll tell you, for a second reason, for a professional... Uh, you will get destroyed by professionals all over who, who know this because these types of clamps, putting them on the cooling systems, you want to, you only want to use worm clamps and whatnot where you're not having a huge heat and ex expansion, expanding or contraction. So it's not, there's not a huge, uh, swelling of heat. So <clears throat> anything that has a fluid do it or anything that has any type of swelling in it, for instance, like... Uh, you're talking about power steering or something like that. Uh, you, you just don't want to use these because what they do is they swell. They rot. They swell. They look like this. This is what happens. I said, look at what it's doing there. It's bulging in between. You screw them down. You, you, you clamp them down quite tight. They're not meant for this application. What you use for your cooling systems or any type of system that's pressured or has any type of expanding contraction is a constant tension climb such as this constant tension and what that means is is that it kind of expands with the hose but yet it keeps tension on the hose i know these are a pain and a lot of people don't like them and it is what it is but i'm sorry but for the last 20 years that i've been using these things i can honestly tell you i've seen a huge reduction in split hoses 90 percent of the the radiator hoses that split are up on the necks because people use worm clamp here's a actual uh excerpt from a manufacturer most automobiles that come from the factory of cooling hose systems are connected and fastened and sealed from the cooling leakage by spring clamps also called constant tension clamps these are commonly referred to as spring clamps because they apply constant tension on a rubber hose automobile manufacturers use spring clamps on cooling system hoses because they have found better 
or cheaper way to apply tension to the hose regardless of the hose conditions. The matter's because as a hose age, they may harden, soften, swell, loosen structurally, rigidity, and spring clamps will continue to apply force to the hose of the con of the condition of the hose, meaning that they will deteriorate the hose because the tension does not move. Now, I want you to take a notate once again. Look here. This is another uh, horde. And I have a huge pet peeve with it because eventually all these hoses are going to split. You can see them already bulging. These are not the right way to fix these. Once again, another professional shop uh, did this. You can see they changed the constant tension clamp. And they still have a spring clamp on there. Absolutely the wrong way to do this repair. Not something that I, you will ever find me do. Constant tension clamps may suck, but they absolutely work. I know that when I put them on there, they're not going to come off. This is what you're supposed to use because they have the ridge. All they have to do is capture the hose. But look at the hose here. There's no marks in the hose after the constant tension clamps have been applied for over several months. They hold form and they're absolutely not deteriorating the hose. Now you can see right here on a worm clamp, look at the bulging around the hose and how it's restricting. Think of it as a ring on your finger that's swelling. It doesn't move. That's why you don't want to use these hoax hose clamps because they're going to cause a failure when you least expect it. And you can see right here, there may be a little bit of swelling, but I can assure you there's no deterioration around the hose. This is on my personal vehicle. It has been on this truck for over three years, and the hose looks like in very good condition. I have never seen a hose split on a constant tension clamp in my twenty in the last twenty years since they've really been relevant. Well, actually, I think constant tension clamps started showing up around the early nineties. If I'm not, it might be the early eighties even. I can't quite remember. You know, I I wasn't working on cars back then. I was only thirteen years old, so. Uh, but I didn't really look into seeing when constant tension clamps came out, so I apologize for not giving that fact. Nonetheless, these worm clamps are not meant for cooling systems. Do not mistake them for this. As the days get warmer and progresses, I, I constantly see this problem showing up more and more and more. And I just wanted to do this because I have been always wanting to do this and talk about this because it is one of my biggest pet peeves. And the fact that the gentleman asked me to replace all of his uh, con his uh, constant tension clamps with worm clamps absolutely uh, just appalled me because of the fact is, is that it's not the proper way to fix a vehicle. It may get you by in a pinch, but eventually it's going to deteriorate the hose, cost you money on a hose. I literally had a uh, my hose that was on my 2006 Chrysler 300 until I sold the car t 11 years after I had it the original hoses and never had one split when i was younger i used to replace hoses all the time because of constant tension clamps bad information and just bad inherent practices so anyways guys that's the video for you today i hope you got something informational inf informational off that hope you enjoyed it remember like comment share subscribe ring that bell remember keep your hands dirty and your money clean thanks for watching